Oh, bonjouro, my amigos. It's me, Hola Espanola. See, guys, with just the right amount of confidence, you can trick people to believe in anything. Just, just like how I'm fluent in Spanish. So after Ben Shapiro left a message for me on my last City Skylines video, letting me know that I'm a liberal snowflake, I feel like we gotta switch stuff up. So today, I'm going to be a pro-EU cuck. I don't know where you guys got this idea that I'm a pro-EU cuck, but I, I don't even like Star Wars. I hate the expanded universe. But saying that, 20k likes right now will play Lego Star Wars for the rest of my life on this channel. But being as I am a pro-European cuckold, I've decided we really need to switch stuff up because trapping people on Britain was fun and all, but that doesn't mean that we can't have fun over here in Europe too. And by fun, I mean, we kind of need to squeeze like a hundred thousand people in here and see what happens. I mean, if I'm going to go ahead and enslave the entirety of Europe, I might as well do it in style with roundabouts. Oh my, they're round. Now, another comment I got was that my city's net. Why don't I just build a functioning city? Which, oh, guys, all of my cities function. What are you on about? Except the ones that get hit by meteors. Either way, we're going to do grid formations. Nice. Boring grid for- Look, anyone that says this isn't a functioning city clearly hasn't seen the roundabout. It's functioning. It's so good. It's- it's- it's a big round road. Oh, what the hell? I can't put down my cargo hub because some landmass is apparently blocking. What the hell even is this here? There you go. Just get that out of the way. There you go. Perfect place to ship and receive goods from. You know what? The joke was still 100% worth it. Oh, sorry about this, Mr. Bear, but uh, this- this ain't gonna be too pretty. <laughs> He teleported. Uh, I love my government offices and everything, but seeing as we're role playing as Germany here, what's um, what exactly is going on with this flag over here? And definitely more importantly, what the hell's the Italian flag doing? But as mandated by German law, where every politician must have a sausage within 50 meters, we do have a grill outside. You know, for something that comes from the Middle East, Zigurat does sound very German, doesn't it? Sounds like it'd be like the German word for cat or biscuit or something. Oh boy, I sure do love my functioning cities in my functioning grid formation in my functioning shoot me in the head. Oh jeez, the electronic books company's been abandoned. That seems a bit waste. Uh, well, you also just deleted the entire building. I feel like you could have just resold that. Uh, Gary, uh, the electronic books company's just gone bust. Should we resell to build it? No, no, it's fine. We'll just demolish it. We'll build it again for, uh, what's the new company called? Electronic bugs come. Okay, we'll get that. Yeah, I don't think it made much sense to have all this like poisonous industry right next to my mega city. So instead, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with something that's less poisonous to the city, like uh, juice press. Okay, I had to have a small incursion over here into northern Italy just uh, for somewhere to drop our trash off. But don't worry, I won't go any further into Italy. Okay, this is as far as we'll go with the trash. Oh, look at that. That's what I call a functioning city right there, isn't it? Really, really square. Except the roundabout. That's pretty round. Okay, we all make mistakes, all right? I may or may not have poisoned my entire city because I accidentally put down a water pump instead of a wastewater pump. Okay. <laughs> I just killed like a couple thousand people. Oh god. Either someone died at the landfill site from the, the, the pump accident or someone could have just dumped a body here. It, it, it's either or in this city, I won't lie. Now, apparently the land in Germany isn't very fertile. So I think we're going to have to move to some of these areas in green and uh, just, you know, borrow some land for a minute, for a couple minutes, for a war, for a World War II. It's all right. I'll give it back. So I say all right. I meant all right. Completely forgot I put this landfill site over here. I, I was wondering why it was uh, probably not that great land over here. That's my bad. I was trying to grow crops in like old diapers and I don't know, Tesco meal deals that have been thrown out. <laughs> I don't even know what mod I have installed to make the drugstore a Burger King. Oh god, look at the roads. They're so aesthetically pleasing and everything just, oh, grids. Uh, I don't know exactly what the cap is for population of the city skylines, but um, I feel like this is still too many garbage trucks. Like that, even at the biggest cap, this is too many, surely. Well, have you ever wondered why there's so much traffic early in the morning? It's um, the conspiracy has been solved. It's the garbage people. Oh, oh, we got an earthquake. Uh, it's, I think it's actually hitting us as well. Although, can I see anything being damaged? Did, did anything? Are we okay? Are we all good? Oh, no. W not whatever that building was. 
Uh, don't mind me, just had to delete that entire road so I could put one down with a tram line because functioning cities have trams. Trams! I know! Tram! Yeah, this has just kind of turned into how can I try and manage traffic simulator, but I feel like I've just added another obstacle for people to dodge now. Oh, we hit 30,000 population, although it is going down now. That does... Why are we going down? Did I poison someone again? There you go, the famous German monument, the Colossus. That right, that's Angela Merkel right there. It's beautiful. I'm sorry, how in the hell do we have a garbage problem? Why is there so many dead people along with the garbage problem? D did you not see how many garbage trucks I have? I'm sorry, Italy, but they need more garbage trucks and uh, I, I just kind of turned you into my dump. I'm really sorry about this. Ah. Uh. That doesn't look good. Oh, you extended your vacation, my lovely city. Well, maybe you should extend it a little longer. Oh, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> Why did the tsunami warning only just pop up as it hit the damn city? Are you did the governor, whoever's in charge, just look at his window and were like, oh, here, look, guys, a tsunami. You know what? I think it'll buff out. I, I think... Like, buff out? You know, sometimes you gotta do like a controlled burn on a forest to bring it back to life. Well, boy, the city's booming! It was more of an uncontrolled drowning, though, than it was a burning. Yeah, it also destroyed half of our trash dumps over here in Italy, which isn't that great. I'll just have to go ahead and rebuild like five more in its place. Now, you can't enslave the entire population of Europe if they don't actually stick around. So, what you gotta do is sometimes you gotta pop down a carousel, which apparently. <laughs> <laughs> really makes people want to stick around. Yeah, I also got these things called child prisons. Not entirely sure what that might be, but I get the feeling it's probably got something to do with Fortnite. I don't know what's up with this German flag, but every direction I turn, it actually turns to look at me as well. It's, it's a sentient German flag. We want a new prison. Hashtag prison. Did, did you not just see me put down the child prison? There you go, we trapped people in Britain before. Might as well throw the prison down there. It's basically what it is anyway, right? Oh my god. A sea fortress! Just like Fortnite! I didn't really think of the logistics of putting this tower right here. It doesn't really fit in, does it? Does, it, does this ruin my functioning city? Is it no longer functioning because of the tower? I don't care either way, let's put down a boat museum. Well, we're halfway to our intended goal and I am pretty close to actually just jumping off a cliff. You know, I'm pretty sure because it's raining and this guy's in the pool, that's the reason I'm losing population. I wouldn't want to be around this person either. I make this city bigger and bigger and the population gets up to a point and then people just start dying or leaving. Just Please stay! Whatever, might as well put some of this slave workforce to actually do some work. And we've got this oil, so get mining the oil. You know, I never really thought about this. What actually happens when a graveyard is full? Do we just move them with the rest of the trash? Because that might explain the body from early. Yeah, I, I said that I wouldn't go any deeper into Italy, but I just keep finding myself going deeper and deeper. Some people might say, hey, I sorrow, where'd that forest come from? But me, an intellectual, says, where the hell did that fire risk come from? Oh, God, just look how red it is on the fire safety thing. <laughs> oh, God. God damn it. Every time the population gets to, like, a cap, and then just, everyone just starts dying. Like, I don't know what it is. Is it? it actually it could be some of that polluted water that's probably still in the pipes. Or it could be, you know, all of our fallen brothers in No Nut November. If uh, you're still part of the hashtag No Nut crew, make sure to leave a like. Yeah, this, this trash issue is just never ever getting fixed is it so yeah i put down an it cluster where this big old building was over here and i don't think strawberry heights is what we should be calling it we should call it something else like i don't know uh there we go i i, I got to 60k and i won't lie we're really struggling to get any higher <laughs> there's there's gotta be something we can do i, I didn't actually have to do anything i just kind of left it for a while and we're, we're at 70k now um I did come back though, and no one died, so that's good news, but potentially they, they could all just die again, so we, we, we might we might be back to square one in any minute now. Oh, uh, I, again, just leaving the game running to get the population up, and a meteor hit over here in the Black Sea, so we're going to have to take some preemptive measures. Yeah, I've been recording for like five hours or something stupid about now, so uh, yeah, I'm not risking another tsunami wiping out my entire population. Except you guys on the on the floor driving right there. Uh, you guys are expendable. Oh god, it's happening again. They're all dying of like garbage overflow. 
Oh, God, I have so many trash trucks. How does this keep happening? I think the issue might just be traffic. Like, I don't think all of these garbage trucks are managing to pick everything up. So we, we got to try something different here. There you go. They can no longer go straight up this road. I made it one way only coming in. So we'll see if that kind of splits them up and they go down different paths instead of all just going up the middle. Although, yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks a bit more evened out, actually. These cars keep driving to this road that doesn't go anywhere. I, I, I think they're just too pussy to just drive off the edge, which, um, guys, just do it. Honestly, the city is terrible. I hit 80k population. I, I don't think I can do this anymore. I, I've been here so long and I've built so much stuff that it's just, I can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> going crazy. You know, I think I've effectively trapped people in Europe into a unlikable, horrible, capitalistic society where they have no future and everything's functioning perfectly fine. So I think I did good. And just look how square it is. Except, except the roundabouts. They're round. They're really round. Someone said help.